and they came to Jesus and said, have mercy, got what they came for. So, see, our faith in God is what is important because sometimes you can look at, maybe you don't have the knowledge to have faith, but you know God. You understand what I mean by that? That you can, you can have faith in God. I know God is good. I know he didn't do this. I know if he's done anything, he's going to do this. Why? Because I know God is good. You might not know the scripture that tells you God will do that thing. But because you know him and his goodness, he'll do that thing. Amen? See, we, we've got to quit using faith like currency. I've actually heard it called that. That faith is a currency of heaven. That if you get enough faith, you can get anything in heaven. Well, there is truth to that, but that statement is not truth. Amen? Because it's not currency. Because Jesus never said, if you have enough faith. So if faith was currency, he would have had to say, you have to have enough. Why? Because we have, just like we have currency here in the United States, you know, $1 bills, 5, 10s, 20s, all the way up. And so people say, well, I, I can't afford that. I don't have enough money. That's how people talk about faith. I don't know if I can get that because I don't know if I have enough faith for that. And the sad part about that is when people say, I don't know if I have enough faith for it, what they're really saying is, I don't know if I can trust God to keep his word. So when you say, I don't have enough faith, you're actually saying, God could be a liar. That's what you're saying. So please don't ever say